everyone. Welcome back to Through Mommy's Eyes. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tag video. I'm going to be doing the Mommy 1.0 tag video. And um, there's actually a second part to this, which I will do later on in the week. And yeah, I think there's about 20 questions or so. I haven't actually read the questions. I've got them on my phone. I'm going to go through them now. Um, so bear with me. This video will be quite candid. Um, anybody can join this tag. Um, I am going to nominate two mommies so that I am following on YouTube and we've all kind of started off at the same time and sort of formed a bit of a vlogger mummy bond. Um, and so the two mommies that I'm going to nominate are Deanna from Taming the Frizz and as well as Lauren from The Joyful Homemaker. And I will link both of their channels down below so you guys can check them out. And if you do head over to their channels, please let them know that Sarah Jane from Through Mummy's Eyes sent you over. So I'm going to go through the questions now. Bear with me, guys. Okay, so the first question. Are you a stay-at-home mom or a working mom? Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have been a stay-at-home mom for six years. Number two, would you have it any other way? Um, I have really sort of found myself um, in the last year or so, especially since moving up north, I really enjoy being a stay-at-home mom now. When I lived in a very busy city, I felt it quite overwhelming. I now actually have time to sort of enjoy being with my kids. Um, but I am starting to sort of feel that little itch of there is other things out there, I think, for me. So I am currently exploring those. I hope that kind of answered the question. Um, number three, do you co-sleep? <laughs> um, not by choice. <laughs> so our youngest, Jack, who is three, gets into bed with us every night. Um, we, he is now falling asleep in his own bed, um, but he definitely gets in about two or three times during the night. So I guess the answer to that is yes, we do co-sleep. Um, number four, one must have gear. Oh, sorry. I haven't had a coffee this morning, guys. Number four, one must have gear for baby. Okay, I would say because both my kids um, earlier on were um, in the city, being raised in the city, definitely um, a double buggy. I took the bus everywhere in the city and the double buggy I had was the Phil and Ted's and I found it great because my Harry at the time was two and a half so he could kind of hop in, hop off and Jack um, could lie down from the start as a newborn and then eventually he went in a seat underneath and it was very compact. It was very heavy, but it was very compact and I was able to just sort of navigate around the city very easily. Number five, how many kids do you plan on having? Uh, we have two children. Harry is six next week and um, Jack is three and we are planning to not have any more. We are done, I believe. Uh, number six, date night. How many nights per month? <laughs> I'd like to say we stick with the one night a month kind of thing. Um, we do do a lot of things with friends though. We're really fortunate that our um, our friends have kids similar ages. So we all kind of like do dinners together and the kids play and stuff. But I definitely don't go out with James as much as I'd like to. Um, he has very long hours. I'm involved in two or three really time consuming things at the moment. But yeah, we need to... We need to work on that for sure. Um, number seven, your child's favorite show. So for Jack, I'd say his favorite show right now is Paw Patrol. And for Harry, I'd say his favorite show is anything to do with Spider-Man or Batman. Um, he likes going on YouTube and looking at those kind of things. So um, anything related to that. Number eight, name one thing you bought before you had your baby and you never ended up using. Um, so I can do that for Jack, and that was a breast pump. <laughs> I had a breast pump for Harry, which was just the Avent uh, manual one, and I didn't pump a lot. But with Jack, I spent the money. It's really funny. I actually just had a conversation about this with a girlfriend at the school gates today. I spent the money on one of those um, electric ones, which was like well over 100 quid, and I never used it. I just ended up selling it. Um, I never used it, so yeah. Um, right. Number nine, your child's favorite food. For Jack, I'd probably say hot chips. <laughs> he loves hot chips. And Harry, pizza. <laughs> Not great choices, but um, they both really love cucumber too. <laughs> 
Um, number 10, how many cars does your family have? We currently have one car, um, but my in-laws have quite a few cars and we all end up sort of sharing. Um, number, sorry, what am I on? Number 11, weight gain before pregnancy, during and after, and now. Hmm, this is interesting. I actually had a very long conversation about this with a girlfriend over the weekend. Um, I did not, I am naturally quite a thin person. I did not gain a lot of weight. I think I gained like 20 pounds, 20, 25 pounds with Harry and Jack both, but it was all bump. It was definitely all bump. And then after when I was breastfeeding, I dropped a significant amount of weight. I went from eight stone nearly to six stone for Harry. And very similar to Jack, I think I went to about seven stone. It has since then, so this is about three years ago, taken me a good three years to get to a healthy size 10, but I have had to work at it. It takes a lot for me to put, uh, to put weight on. So I've eaten a lot of potatoes <laughs> and a lot of cheese, but um, I'm now feeling quite good. I'm feeling like I should actually start working out probably <laughs> now, but yeah, my weight overall throughout pregnancy um, before and after was something I definitely struggled with. Um, number 12, dream vacation with your kiddos. Um, to be honest, we haven't really done a lot of vacations with our children. Um, so anything would be quite a dream. <laughs> We've done a few, I mean, I've been back to Canada, but with both of them separately. Um, and we've gone to Spain a couple times with Harry, went on a cruise with him. This was long before Jack was even a thought. Um, I would quite like to do an all-inclusive type thing, but not travel far, maybe go to Spain a couple hours away and spend a week there. And this probably makes me sound like a very selfish mom, but with something that has like a kid's club so that my kids could go off together, you know, from nine till one and James and I could actually spend some time together um, reading, <laughs> having a drink by the pool, doing those nice things. So yeah, I think it would definitely be something that was all-inclusive um, and that I didn't have to think about meals for morning and the afternoon. Um, number 13, dream vacation without the kiddos. Well, this is a whole other story. I'd like to go really far. I would love to go to Thailand. I've never been to Thailand and James and I went on a holiday to India um, before Harry was born. Um, and we just had the best time. I still look at those photographs. So I'd love to go to Thailand or Vietnam, something like that, and just, just play things day by day because that is something completely out of my comfort zone. As you guys know, I'm a type A personality. I like to plan everything. And I would just like to have no responsibility other than myself and my husband and us just go and, you know, have a great time. Um, right, so I'm losing the questions here. Number 14, how has your life changed since your baby has been born? Oh, not at all. <laughs> no, our lives have changed, as I'm sure any other parents have changed uh, drastically, um, in a good way. Um, we, uh, I think the biggest thing for us is that we left um, the city that we had both lived in for 10 years, and we uprooted up north, and uh, we now live much closer to family, and we have a much better family lifestyle. Um, and yeah, we've just made big changes like that. Um, I guess one of the biggest things is I gave up work <laughs> too. That's pretty big. Um, and James changed his job from working in real estate, you know, 80 hours a week to now, um, taking over and help, well, helping to work on the family farm. So our lives have changed quite a bit, I'd say. Mm. Um, number 15, finish this sentence. It makes my heart melt to see... I'm gonna have to say to see my kids cuddle each other because they can fight like cats and dogs and then they can watch a movie together on a Saturday night in my bed and fall asleep and they will fall asleep literally like holding one another. And I'm sure you guys know this because I probably take a photo right away and put it on Instagram. But yeah, that definitely makes my heart melt. Um, number 16, where do you shop for your kids? Um, I do shop a lot secondhand, um, mainly because my kids wear their clothes, so they are gone very quickly. Also, Harry wears a school uniform five days a week, but otherwise I shop at Gap Kids, H&M a lot for Harry, um, 
because the clothes just tend to fit him better. And um, Gap. Oh, sorry, did I say Gap? Yeah, and Next. Um, when they were little, I used to shop at the really expensive stores. Well, for Harry, mostly. <laughs> just because I was so happy to be a mom and, you know, my kids only needed the best. Now it's whatever I can get my hands on. <laughs> um, number 17, favorite makeup and skincare products. Um, well, my favorite makeup I'd have to say would be Firstly, would be a primer if I remember to use it, um, a cover-up, always a cover-up, and a bronzer and mascara. That is basically my beauty routine. Um, and a lot of the products I tend to use, I tend to change my products a lot. I'm not one of these people that has like set products, you know, um, every month. Um, I do like Clinique quite a bit and Clarins. But um, a lot of the time, I'll just use the samples that come in my Birch Box, my monthly subscription. Um, because I like to play around with things, but um, I also like Max Factor quite a bit. That tends to do the trick. Um, right, number 18, Huggies or Pampers? For us, neither. <laughs> we, um, well, Jack is in pull-up pants only at nap time and night time, and we buy them from Lidl. Well, we basically buy whatever is on sale, the cheapest one you can get, because he is almost at that stage of not having to wear them at all. Um, I did go through a big phase, actually, though, when the kids were both newborns, I used Huggies because I really liked them. I found them much more absorbent than Pampers. Um, number 19, have you always wanted kids? Yes, I always have. I've always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom, really. Uh, number 20, best part about being a mom. Um, okay, for me, the best part about being a mom is um, just being with my kids. Um I, I, I pride myself on being able to drop them off and pick them up every day as well as be involved in their um, school activities and just in their lives all around and it's the best feeling in the world and I think just knowing that you're kind of the glue that holds the family together just makes for me it it makes me feel very blessed it makes me feel very happy and um yeah, I can just see how my boys are growing. I can see how my husband's growing and how I'm growing. And just to know that you are kind of, you know, that glue that is sort of making all that happen. Because what's that saying that they have? Um, happy, happy home is a happy mom. Something like that. If I remember it, I'll link it down below. <laughs> I'll insert it down below. Anyway, I just find, um, yeah. There's so many great things about being a mom, and I'm at a bit of a loss for words now, but I'm just looking into my little kids' eyes and seeing that they're happy, you know, when mommy comes to pick them up. Um, that is a great feeling for me. So once again, guys, this tag is called the Mummy 1.0 tag, and Deanna and Lauren, I would love you guys to participate if possible. I will link their channels down below. If you guys like this uh, video, please do give me a thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you guys soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.